a woman included in the mitzvah of Zechiris Masei Amorek. That's the Machloikis between Chinuch and Minchas Chinuch. Sefer Chinuch clearly says, and it's a Chiddush. He is the only one of the Rishonim that deals with this question, and it's a surprise to me. The only one. Sefer Chinuch Tov Rish Gimel says, women are exempt because whoever doesn't have the mitzvah of Mechias Amorek is also excluded from Zechiris Masei Amorek. And women are not supposed to be warriors. They don't wage war. Yavom HaSamech Beis de Gemor says, Ich darko ilich boish ve'en ishu darko ilich boish. And because women are exempt from Mechias HaMolok, they're also exempt from Zechir HaZmas HaMolok. That's the Sefer HaChinach. The Mechaz HaChinach argues, How do we know that these two mitzvahs are two sides of the same coin? Who says? It's a mitzvah to say, She'en HaZman Groma, No Shem Chayavos. So this is an interesting asymmetrical machlaikis between the chinuch one of the rishonim and the minchas chinuch and achrayim. Chofetz Chaim, Sefer Mitzvah Kotza, Hakotza Ayin Vav. I don't know what everybody is familiar with the Sefer. The Chofetz Chaim achieved unbelievable fame with the Sefer Mishnah Baru, which has become one of the classics in. Jewish literature. There's no from home in the world, I think, that doesn't have a Mishnah Brura. And also the Chofetz Chaim Hashmi Saloshan, but the Chofetz Chaim wrote many Svorim. Most of them small Svorim. And the Chofetz Chaim dedicated his life to the benefit of Klal Yisrael. He didn't write Svorim al Ashas. All the Svorim are Tzorech Hasha. And the Chofetz Chaim strongly felt that besides learning Halacha, to know it is also extremely important that people familiarize themselves with the mitzvahs say, especially those that are noyeg bismanazeh. So Sefer Mitzvah Sakotzeh is a compilation of the mitzvahs say only those that are noyeg bismanazeh. Mitzvah ayin vov is schiras mase amolek, not mechias amolek, but schiras mase amolek. And the Chofetz Chaim writes, anoshim venoshim. Chayavos. So Chavetz Chaim feels the same as the Minchas Chinuch. Women are included in the midst of Schiras Masei Does that mean that they need to come to Shul to hear the Kriya? No, definitely not. If the Chavetz Chaim would hold that women need to hear the Kriya of Pasha Zohar, he would write it in Mishnah Brura. And it's not in the Mishnah Brura. And I think this proves that women don't have a chiv to hear the Kriya. The mitzvahs are say the Uraisi, yes. But the Kriya of Pasha Zohar is a din in Kriya Satoira, like all the other Kriyas. And women are not chayev the Kriya Satoira. It is not only that we don't find the Halacha in Mishnah Brura. One of the great Rabbanim in London a few decades ago was Rav Dinner. He was an Av Beistin and a very Chosavik Goin and Tzadik. And in his writings, he testifies that he heard from the daughter of the Chavetz Chaim, Rebetz and Sachs, that her father did not let the women and girls and the family go to shul to hear the Kriya. I don't know whether he was against it, but he definitely didn't send them to shul. So the Chavetz Chaim clearly maintain women are not chayev to hear the Kriya of Parsha Zohar. It's a din and Kriya, it's a Torah. Yes, Ikroi men a Torah. So when we hear the Kriya, we're mekayim the Mitzvah de Uraisa. But it's not a chayev anoshim, only an anoshim. And there are different opinions regarding this question. Shalas Shuvah's Binyan Sien, the Orach Leneu, was one of the great Gedoinim in Germany. Rabbi Yankov Etlinger, who was the Rav of Altuna. Chelik Beis Simachesi writes, Shomati memori virabi rabavrom bing, sheya talmid shor Abnosen Adler. And Abnosen Adler sent all the women in the family, even the maid, Hamishareses, to shul to hear the Kriya of Pasha Zohar. Vekach ani noyag acharov. And... When I inquired a bit, I think that in 
Kirot Ashkenaz in Germany, the minig was that women went to shul to hear of Parashat Zohar. But I think that was a minig only in Germany. Nowhere else. So, I quoted the Orach Lener, Reb Nosen Adler. The Chesam Soifa had this minig. It's not in Shuvis Chesam Soifa, so it's not a psak. But in Chele Gimel Droshes Chesam Soifa, the Chesam Soifa writes that his minig is that women go to Shul to hear the parsha, And the Chesam Soifa was the greatest Talmud of Reb Nosen Adler. So obviously, this was Reb Nosen Adler's minig and the Chesam Soifa following in his footsteps. Who else says that women are chayev? Chubis Maharil Diskin, Reb Shileib Diskin, and he was the God of Yerushalayim. And in Kuntas Achan Simakuv Beis, he writes, Noshim Archayev, to hear Pasha Zohar. And I think it is from him in Yerushalayim, that's the minig, and women flock to shuls on Shabbat Zohar to hear the Kriya. Could we define that as minig Yerushalayim? I don't think so. I don't think so. I know that it's Reb Shum did encourage his family, the women, to go to shul. But in Alicha Shloima, it is clear, quoted in his name, that Me'ikar Adin women are not chayev to hear the Kriya. In the Hasidish world, Mincha Saloza, the Munkachara of Chelik Beis Simen Aleph, adamantly argues, women need to go to hear the Kriya of Pasha Zohar. So what do we have? Binyan Sien, Reb Nosan Adler, Reb Shileib Diskin, and the Mincha Salosa. On the other hand, Shalash Echuvah's Teres Chesed, Simalamet Zayin, the Teres Chesed, what is one of the greatest Gedolim in Poland, Reb Shnei Zalman from Lublin, and in his elderly years he came to Yerushalayim, and he was definitely a Gedoli Yerushalayim, and he writes in his Sefer, Teres Chesed, Me'olam lo ra'inu v'lo shamanu that women go to shul to, to, shul to hear the Kriya of Zohar. So the Torah's Chesed was in Yerushalayim the very same time together with the Rebshi Aleib Diskin. And he writes, Me'olam lo ra'inu v'lo shamanu I never heard of this. V'mashik v'savta b'shem God l'echod sheno shem chayavos Maybe it's just hearsay. I don't believe it. And even if it's true, he's a das yochid. I assume he means Reb Nosan Adler. So yes, it is true, because the Binyan Siem heard it from his Rebbe, and he was a Talmud of Rabbi Nosan Adler. But what is important is, the Psak of the Torah's Chesed, Noshim, are not Chayev, and even more important, Me'olam lo ra'inu, me'olam lo shamanu. Never. How about Safari Kehilas? Kafa Chayim, nobody is more authoritative than the Kafa Chayim, with Menhoge Svarad. Kafa Chaim, Tofresh Pehei, brings Lamudi Hashem, Rabbi Yudha Najara, who was one of the great Sephardi Gedalim hundreds of years ago, and he says, Noshim are except they do not have a chiv to hear Parshas Zohar. So the Torah's Chesed, Kafa Chaim, Lamudi Hashem, Chofetz Chaim, my great Rabbi, Divri Yatsev, Simaresh Peches Shuvah Sarachaim, says women do not have a chiv, and he proves it from the Divri Chaim. That's a spark of genius. There's a tshuva in Divrachayim beginning with Ezra Snoshim. What is the level of Kedusha that an Ezra Snoshim has? The woman's section in Shul. And the Divrachayim says definitely not the same Kedusha as the men's section. Because there are so many misses that the men do perform and women do not. Like Kriya Satoyin and Dalet Parashiyos. So the Divrachayim writes, Dalet Parashiyos, one of the Dalet Parashiyos is Pasha Zohar. So it is clear from the Divra Chaim that women are not Chayev in Parsha Zohar. That's the Divra Yatz of my great Rebbe proving from the Divra Chaim. Torah Chesed Divra Yatz of Chofetz Chaim, Kafa Chaim, Lemude Yashem. One of the great Talmud Chachomim in Lakewood, Rav Forsheimer, he is the Meiraroa in Lakewood, and he quotes in the name of Rabbi Moshe. He heard from Rabbi Moshe Feinstein that women are not Chayim in Parsha Zohar. Moran Reb Chaim, one of his amazing Sforim, Reb Chaim Kanevsky, is Tame de Kro. And at the end of the Sefer, he conveys many Psokim that he heard from the Chazonish. And he clearly says, according to the Chazonish, women do not have to go to Shul here Parsha Zohar. The Briskarov in Yushalayim said, Till I came to Yushalayim, I never in my life heard that women go to Shul, Tier Pasha Zohar. 
So in the Hasidic Shevelt, we have the Divra Yatsev, based on the Divra Chaim, the Litvish world. Who are the four first and foremost greatest Gedolim of the Litvish world in our time, in, in the past 100 years? Isn't it Chofetz Chaim, Chazonish, Briskarov, Rav Moshe Feinstein? And we quoted all four of them. Women do not have a Chiev to hear the Kriya of Pasha Zohar. So to me it's a pele. Charles Shuvis Minchis Yitzchok Helek Tesim and Samaches, he writes that Rav Poiskim, Paskin, that women need to hear Pasha Zohar. I don't think so. I don't think any Poiskim, Paskin, that women need to hear. How do you, fi- how do you define Poiskim? Usually when we talk about Poiskim, we mean Mogan Avram, Turezov, the Shach, naturally the Bishoy Yosef and the Rama, early Poiskim. We no one says women are chayiv in Kriyas Parsha Zohar before the Oroch Lener. And even he quotes a minag of Reb Nosson Adler. We don't have a tshuva of Reb Nosson Adler. Minag, chsam soifa. But very few poiskim say that women have a chiv. Reb Shilayb Diskin, Minchas Alazar. There are many more poiskim that say women do not have a chiv. But my most powerful argument is anybody that doesn't say Noshem are mechuyev is as if he says they're not mechuyev. Because the pashtis is no. It's a kriya. Women never have a chiyav of kriya satayra. Pashtis zocha, pashtis achodish, pashtis kolam, pashtis poro, kriya satayra. If any poisik feels that Noshem are chayev, he should say so. Those that don't say anything, we assume they're potter. And they don't need to say Noshem are potter, because Noshem never have a chiyav of Kriya Satayla. So any great poisik that doesn't say chayiv is as, as if he said potter. And therefore, how could the Min Yitzchuk say, most of the poiske maintain Noshem are chayiv, and I say, none of the poiske maintain Noshem are chayiv, and all of them say Noshem are potter. Because whoever doesn't say chayiv is the equivalent of saying potter. Some later achroinim do say chayiv. But that's all. So my firm opinion is, and let's be clear about this, Noshim do not have a chayiv to hear Pasha Zohar. And this minig was unheard of until our days. In Ashkenaz, yes. Yerushalayim, yes. But it's not mini Yerushalayim. It's not binding. The Teres Chesed was in Yerushalayim and he said there is no Chiv. Rabbi Shemazalman didn't feel there is a Chiv. Why do I say all this? Because I am terrified about this upcoming Shabbos Zohar. Most women's sections and shuls are relatively small. And if many women come, it will be extremely cramped. In my shul, the men's section is big, very high roof, well ventilated, women's the windows on three sides. The Ezes Noshim is small, very low roof with no ventilation. And that is the case in most shuls. And with this Magefa still raging, it could be a terrible Sakona if so many women will come together, cramped in a little room, and that could be a huge booster for the spread of the disease, which is pikuach nefesh. So, Bor Hashem, many, many have already vaccinated in Israel, and Chutz Lord's less. So, I really feel that this Shabbat Zohar, women should stay at home. I was never a makbid my late wife, Zechroin Lavroch, and daughters should come to shul. And I prefer they don't come to shul, and for a very simple reason. In my opinion, you're not Yoitze the Mitzvah de Uraisa unless you hear every word. According to Rush and Toysis, which is the Psach and Shulchan Aruch, as I explained at the beginning of this year, you cannot be Yoitze the Mitzvah Shir Samas only by reading the Parsha. 
Men a Torah doesn't need to be in shul. You don't need to be from a Sefer Torah. You don't need a minion. But you need to read the parsha. According to the Mishnah Berurah, Davka Parshas Kiseitze. According to Mugan Avram, Parshas B'Shalach as well. But the parsha. And if that is the case, if you skipped one word, you are not Yoytze. Just like Kriyas Shema. If you say Kriyas Shema, you skip one word, you weren't Yoytze. And the same would apply to Tzchiris Masamolik. And it's almost impossible for a woman coming en masse to shuls to hear every word. Not always could you hear that well in Ezez Noshim, especially in the back of the Ezez Noshim. It depends on the acoustics of the base Medish. So I always told my wife, Zechariah my daughters, don't come to shul, because if you skip one word, and when so many women come to shul, some of them bring their babies and their little children, and so it's almost impossible to hear. Every year, Pasha Zohar, I used to come home and take out some chumoshim, and my wife and my daughters read the parsha, because I think the vast majority of poiskim feel there is no need for women to hear the parsha in shul, and there never was such a minag baroiv kehilas Yisrael. Poland, Galicia, Hungary, Romania, Northern Africa, Southern Europe, kehilat svarad chasidim. None of them had the minig woman coming to shul to hear Pasha Zohar. So this year I am so afraid and therefore I recommend women should read the Pasha at home and if they feel uncomfortable they should make a Torah Snedorim. They should not go to shul in order to prevent the spread of this terrible disease.